Alan Axelrod, Patton on Leadership. Discover the remarkable leadership strategies of General George S. Patton, the legendary World War II commander, in Alan Axelrod's book, Patton on Leadership. Often controversial and unapologetically aggressive, Patton's extraordinary achievements on the battlefield are testament to his unwavering commitment to forward momentum, tactical aggression, and discipline. The book summary weaves through Patton's approach to leadership and decision-making, his concept of timing, his qualities as a commander, and how his leadership principles can be applied in today's world, whether in business or war. Brace yourself for an instructive and engaging journey into the mind of one of history's most renowned military leaders. Patton's Trailblazing Military Career General George S. Patton's legendary accomplishments as a military leader during World War II include pioneering modern tank warfare, transforming a demoralized American army, defeating the brilliant Nazi war strategist Erwin Rommel, and liberating countless towns across Europe. General George S. Patton, a controversial World War II leader, was not known for his bedside manner. However, his track record on the battlefield speaks for itself. Among his many noteworthy accomplishments, Patton was the driving force behind modern tank warfare. He transformed a defeated and demoralized American army in North Africa into a force that defeated the heralded Desert Fox Erwin Rommel. Additionally, Patton successfully invaded Sicily with minimal casualties and liberated more towns in France than any other American military unit. Patton's Third Army's northward counterattack during the Battle of the Bulge led to victory and an estimated 1.2 million POWs captured from August 1, 1944, to May 13, 1945. Patton's leadership enabled his army to gain 81,522 square miles of France, 1,010 of Luxembourg, 156 in Belgium, 29,940 square miles of Germany, 3,485 in Czechoslovakia, and 2,103 in Austria during the nine months and eight days of his attack. Although Patton's leadership style was controversial, his determination and drive enabled him to lead his army farther and faster than any other military leader in history. His quote, opportunities are easily lost while waiting for perfect conditions, is a testament to his approach to leadership. Despite what others may have viewed as setbacks or challenges, Patton remained focused on advancing his troops and defeating the enemy. Patton's Leadership Style General Patton believed that a commander should lead from the front lines, not push from behind. He emphasized that soldiers needed leadership and not just someone to give them directions. He also believed that a general should concern himself with overseeing the formations and positions of corps and divisions, not micromanaging units at the battalion level. An illustrative anecdote showed Patton's decisiveness and confidence in a difficult situation, which ultimately led to his Third Army's success in achieving unprecedented advances. Patton's Principles West Point Cadet Patton identified six qualities of a great commander, including tactical aggression, strength of character, steadiness of purpose, acceptance of responsibility, energy, and good health. Patton believed in delegating both tasks and leadership. A leader must be an actor with no room for doubt or discouragement. Aggressiveness may offend, but a leader's job is to focus on the mission and get their people to do the same. Patton's Leadership Style General Patton believed that the best defense was a good offense. He always pushed forward and attacked rather than defended, which some saw as reckless. Patton's philosophy was to rule out excuses that impeded progress, and his motto was, go forward. He was committed to advancing even when it seemed impossible, such as when his Third Army crossed France in 1945. He was willing to abandon tanks that ran out of gas to keep moving forward. Some historians criticized Patton for taking such risks, but he believed in attacking with every available resource was the quickest way to end the war and defeat the Nazis. For Patton, leadership was a matter of balancing the timing against the available resources. Military Tactics for Business Strategy The book offers insights on how to use military tactics in business strategy. 
General Patton's military approach of holding the enemy with fire and attacking from the flanks and rear can be translated into creating forward momentum and envelopment in business to tackle problems creatively. The book emphasizes the importance of rehearsing spontaneity in decision-making and viewing defeat as self-defeat. The author encourages readers to face their fears rather than running away from them, highlighting that managing circumstances is a better strategy than allowing the circumstances to manage you. Patton's Leadership Style Patton believed in boosting morale by leading from the front and being hands-on, as seen during the North Africa invasion when he spent 18 hours on the beach, pushing off boats, calming his troops, and not taking cover during enemy attacks. He believed the key to success was to encourage his men, and that a commander's primary responsibility was to boost morale. He also maintained that the senior officer should visit the junior officer as the latter would be busier, but if several officers needed to be present, then they had to report to headquarters. Patton's Golden Rule of War General Patton emphasized speed, simplicity, and boldness as vital in approving operations. He preferred immediate attacks with a small force rather than waiting for a larger one and losing the element of surprise. For Patton, perfection was a dangerous illusion in timing that could bring about defeat. He believed that hesitating in decision-making was the cardinal sin of a leader, and making a decision too early could be as detrimental as making it too late. This philosophy applied not only to war but also to business, as timing is a critical factor in both. Patton's Definition of Discipline General George S. Patton believed that discipline was crucial to success in the military. He defined discipline as pride in the profession of arms, meticulous attention to details, and mutual respect and confidence. To him, discipline needed to be so ingrained that it overshadowed the excitement of battle or the fear of death. He believed that discipline's purpose was to eliminate the inherent human resistance to obedience and make obedience habitual and subconscious. According to Patton, courage was directly linked to self-respect and discipline. Even in the face of fear, disciplined troops could respond effectively. Patent on Leadership offers invaluable insights into the driving forces behind General George S. Patton's exceptional leadership abilities, directly from the battlefield to the boardroom. The key takeaway from this book is that Patton's principles of leadership, such as tactical aggression, discipline, forward momentum, timing decisions, and focusing on the mission, are universally applicable across various fields of human endeavor. Despite his controversies, General Patton demonstrated that being decisive, committed, and versatile in managing circumstances is indispensable for success, whether in the theater of war or in the business world. By distilling Patton's strategies from Axelrod's book, readers will emerge enlightened and empowered to tackle their own challenges with gusto, 